welcome back to the vlog. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I thought today I would just go over um, our stocking stuffers for the year in case you're looking for some ideas. Uh, if you're new here, we have a three-year-old daughter and then us and a cat. Um, we have one on the way, do a, he's due in April. <laughs> Um, so next year will be even more exciting because we'll get to add another like kid stocking and Christmas presents and I'm just like super excited about it. Um, but this year it's just the three of us, well four with the cat. Um, so I thought I'd go over kind of what we're doing, give you guys some ideas in case you need some ideas. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. Alright, so we'll start with Zoe. I have this really cute... Um, like a bracelet and necklace set. I think she's gonna be really into it. She loves wearing, you know those teething necklaces that you get as a mom? I am so winded, sorry. I'm like, just pregnant and winded. Um, the teething necklaces you get, she found hers <laughs> from when she was a baby and she loves wearing it around. So I thought she was definitely due for like a little set of her own. So I thought that was cute. They're just very colorful. They have little faces on them. A kaleidoscope. Just something fun. She likes pretending to be a pirate, so I thought she would enjoy doing something like this. She loves colors. I thought this would just be something kind of fun for her. And now both of these, she is super in to Paw Patrol lately. So I found these on Amazon. Um, and if I can find the things on Amazon, I'll link them down below for you. But these are all off Amazon DE because we are living in Germany. So I got her Marshall and Skye, she loves Marshall and Skye, and then I think later on, you know, we'll just keep adding to her collection. I will say they're a lot bigger than I thought, so they might be sitting next to her stocking um, and not in it. They would also, I think, make a really good gift, but I got them specifically for her stocking. So, okay, I got these. They are um, like play silks. Yeah. Oh, talk about packaging. Plastic and plastic and plastic. So if you have read anything about Montessori or seen anything, play silks are a really big deal. They're also very, very expensive. So these are like a knockoff. I wasn't gonna pay the play silk prices. So I just got her these ones. She loves pretending she's a ghost. <laughs> she also loves covering her babies up with blankets, pretending things are bandages. And I gotta say, friends, I'm getting real tired of her playing with my napkins. So <laughs> I thought she would really enjoy these, a whole pack of them. I'm just gonna like, you know, crumble them up and stuff them in her stocking. I think these will be a really good one for, I think even two and up, but she is three. So I think she'll really enjoy those. Just some Christmas stickers that I found at like a, our, one of our local stores or whatever. I picked those up. I was gonna let her play with them and then I realized I should wait. And <laughs> Stick them in her stocking, and I think she's gonna have a lot of fun playing with those. She likes stickers. I got her this little icy um, gel pack for when she's a boo boo. We put it in the fridge, and you know, it's a. She always asks, you know, if she gets hurt, if she can have hers. And hers, she had one that was a penguin, and she squeezed it a little too hard on purpose to see what was gonna happen, and it exploded. So I got her this new one. I found Marshall, little Paw Patrol. I liked that it was like little gel beads. So we'll see, we'll see how long it lasts. But I thought that'd be a good one to put in there because she needs one anyways. Yeah, this is the last thing for her um, as far as stuff that's going in her stocking. So I got her, they're from Learning Resources. They're little color paddles. Um, let me see if I can, oh, whoo, goodness. So they're just little like color paddles and they have little like texture and stuff on there. And I'm going to link them all together. I'll probably, since there's three, I'll do three sets and then we'll just have three sets. I mean, she's going to have a brother and we'll just have an extra. Um, but they have all the different, the six colors. And she loves, um, with her magnetiles, putting them against her face and being like, oh, it's blue or purple or red and now you're pink. Like, stuff like that. So I think she's going to just really enjoy playing with these and putting them against her eye and putting them against things and pretending they're different colors and... She's just super into like rainbow stuff. So I thought I thought that would be really fun for her. And then we're gonna get her some snacks, probably some, um, she's really into like dried strawberries. 
So we'll probably get some of that and maybe like some fruit snacks, which she doesn't hardly ever get and some granola bars. She loves granola bars. So we'll just put a couple like treats and stuff in there. Maybe a little piece of chocolate, you know, cause it is Christmas. Kinder egg, probably. So that's it for her stocking. I think she's gonna have a lot of fun with all that stuff. Lots of stuff to encourage her imagination and playtime in there. So I think she's really gonna enjoy that. Um, now for women or myself, like my stocking. Um, let's see what we got here. So I love fuzzy socks. Um, I'm super, I just, I love cozy socks. And so I ordered, that's not a very pretty pair. I ordered a big pack here. I actually already broke into them and I'm wearing a pair, but so it's just like six pairs of just like cozy, fun. They kind of reminded me of like Scandinavia and stuff design, um, socks. So I think those are super fun. I'm going to put those in my stocking. Maybe I'll put one in our Christmas Eve box. And like I said, I already have one on my feet right now. I couldn't resist. I lost one of my like thin gloves, the touch gloves. And so I ordered myself another pair. I thought these were really pretty and they'll go with everything. And they're the touch screen gloves. So I can still take photos and videos of her while we're out without my hands getting cold and wet. <laughs> so I needed a new pair of those. I also needed a new wallet. My wallet zipper is busted and they use a lot of Euro coins here. So my wallet is constantly just spilling all over the grocery store, which especially as I'm now pregnant, like bending down to pick up all these coins. I'm not about that life. So I got myself a new wallet. This one's made of cork. Um, and I thought the design was really pretty with the like paint pattern splatter on it basically and I liked it because it has a spot here when you open it up but then it also has a zipper spot which has a lot more spots along with a coin pouch inside so there's lots of oh there's a little spot right here too so there's lots and lots of um, storage which I think is great especially like I said with here where Germany they use a lot of cash and you know they have one and two euro coins and stuff so I always have a lot of change so I think this is going to be really good, and I like that it's made of cork. I needed a new um, like pastry brush. I went with um, silicone this time, so I don't know exactly how it's going to work. My other one was just like a regular pastry brush, but it's the the bristles are starting to kind of like fall out, and that's just really annoying to have to go pick up all the bristles off off of each thing that you're dusting. Um, so I got myself a little silicone pastry brush. I'm excited to try it. I've never used a silicone one before, so we'll see. I got myself a grape cutter. I don't know about you, but um, if you have a toddler, you're supposed to cut grapes up until they're like age five. And especially now with the second one on the way, I gotta say, I'm just kind of like over cutting some grapes um, into quarters and stuff like that. So hang on, my, my belly just popped my shirt open. Okay. <laughs> um... I'm just kind of tired of cutting up grapes. So you can use it for cherry tomatoes too. I bet if you cut a piece of hot dog and stuck the hot dog in there, you could use it for a hot dog too. So it's just like a little cutter. Got that off of Amazon. And then lastly for me, <laughs> these were a lot bigger than I thought too. And they're not very exciting, but I thought I'd show you because I'm kind of excited, nerding out about them. They are like silicone wash gloves. They got like bristles on the um, hand. And I got these, you can use them for your dishes, but I didn't get them for dishes. I got them for our showers. But we have two showers and they're all glass. And we have really hard water in Germany. And so the glass just gets so like spotted and just gross looking. And so I find it like a lot harder to clean and like what am I, like it's just kind of annoying for me. So. I thought maybe these would help. I can spray it down and get in there with my hands, you know, and scrub them up. So I actually got um, two pairs because they came in a two set. So then I'll have, I'll just be able to keep one in each shower. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, I guess if it's a total failure, I now have two gloves that can do dishes instead of clean the shower. And then I'll get some um, like candy and stuff for myself, like Ferrero Rocher's and stuff like that because it's so good. So that's it for my stocking. So our cat also has a stocking. She doesn't care for treats. She's just not that type of cat. Um, 
so I might get a couple pouches of like wet food or something and stick it in there because she does like wet food and she gets that occasionally as a treat but I did get her she's not gonna be excited about this but I'm excited I got her a pet nail grinder so she hates having her nails cut it's always a huge battle so I'm hoping that if I can just get in there and like grind them down really fast It'll be nice and fast and we can get it over with and I don't have to worry so much about like clipping the nails which stresses me out which stresses her out it's just a huge problem and so her nails are always really long she scratches us when she's like cuddling and the couch is a total disaster like something needs to be done so I'm really hoping this is the answer so this is going in her stocking and I'll put a couple pouches of wet food in there to like kind of make up for the fact that this is not exciting for her <laughs> Derek every time I ask him anything he wants He's like, I don't really want anything. I don't need anything. I don't know if the guys in your life are like that, but I find them really hard to buy for, especially little things, because it's like women, you know, you can stick chapstick, you can stick, you know, little like hand sanitizers, lotion, all this like good stuff, little goodies in there. And I feel like we get really excited. As a man, maybe some men, not the men I know, not my husband, he does not get excited about stuff like that. He would be like, okay, cool, there's chapstick. Like, I <laughs> would not be into it. So I tried really hard to get a couple things that I knew he would really like or need, but there's less. So he'll get a couple of, like, more treats in his, like, gum, and he's always looking out for gum, some candy, stuff like that in his. But so he also needed a new pair of gloves because he lost one of his gloves. So I got him these gloves, which he can also wear biking. I'm very excited about this. He does a lot of mountain biking even in the winter here because it's just rainy, it's not snowy. So they have the grippies and they're nice and like kind of waterproof, which will be really nice for him. And they also are the screen touch gloves though. So he, when he's biking, he needs to pull out his map sometimes on his phone and then he has to take his glove off. Maybe this is how he lost one of his gloves, I don't know. But <laughs> this this is like a touch glove, so he doesn't have to take them off to touch his phone, which I think will be really great. So I think he's gonna be really, really excited about those. I'm really excited about that like find. I think that's gonna be a good one. I also got him, <laughs> not very exciting, but we do need these and I figure I'll just get them and stick them in his stocking, um, luggage tags. <laughs> so it's like a set of eight, which, I realize seems excessive however we are going to be moving home in 2021 and when we fly home there's gonna be four of us and we each have a seat which means even the baby is going to get a seat which means that we each get two checked bags so two four six eight eight luggage checks so our luggage checks have kind of broken over the years of travel so I thought this would be a good one we need it Whatever, I'll stick it in his stocking. He's going to be like, oh, it's so practical. Yay, thanks. I don't know. His stuff is pretty practical. <laughs> he also needed a new wallet. He is just, I swear I get him a new wallet every year. He just destroys them. Um, probably because he never throws anything out. So his wallet just gets like stuffed full of like hotel cards and like business cards and receipts. And like, why? Why keep that stuff? I don't know. But so I got him this one. I'm hoping he'll like it because it's very slim and it has a money clip. So he can just clip the money in there if he wants or he can fold it up and stick it in here. I thought it had, oh, I thought it had a little like Euro coin pouch area, but that's I guess what he can use this spot for is stick in some Euro coins in there. But I thought it had a little zippered spot, but I guess not. But so there's plenty of room for credit cards. He can stick the cash right there, the euros, and then he can stick a couple of the coins in the top here. And then it's still nice and slim, so I think he'll appreciate that. And it's better than what he's carrying around right now, which is like something like this big with like two credit cards shoved into it and then like his euros shoved into it. It's not working. And then lastly, the last thing I got him, and I thought this was a really good idea, um, not anything he said he needed or wanted or whatever, but hopefully he hopefully he likes it. Um, because he's working virtually so much now and he's on the computer nonstop for meetings instead of in-person meetings, um, he's been getting a lot of headaches. And I think it's due to all the like blue light just staring at a computer screen. So I went ahead and I got him a pair of like the blue light glasses. 
Um, I, I hope you like these. I liked these because they were blue on the inside, so I was like, oh, a little fancy. Not that it matters. I mean, they, they don't, for virtual meetings, they rarely ever turn on their cameras. It's just voice meetings, but um, I thought, I just thought these were fun. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know. I don't know if they work. I don't know, I've, some people have sworn by them, but so I thought I'd just grab a pair of the blue light glasses for him and see if that helps with his headaches that he's been having. Okay, well that kind of wraps up our stockings. Um, hopefully that gave you a couple of ideas, especially for like a toddler stocking. I thought there was some really fun finds in there, the color paddles and, and play scarves and stuff like that. So. Or it helps you with the men in your life. Maybe there's something where you're like, oh yeah, I like the blue light glasses. Or he does need a new wallet. <laughs> so hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit. Um, I love stocking stuffers. I think they're so fun. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And we will catch you guys next time. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays.